Hi everybody, welcome to the wonderful world <laughs> of Eagle's Quest Adventures. Um, today we're going to talk about, of course, uh, our new uh, showstopper here, our electric bikes. Electric, electric bikes. Um, that's the name of the company, electric and in my previous video, I talked about um, a little blemish that um, when we unpacked the bike that we found. And I did call the company and I requested some touch-up paint, but they said they were in the works of creating touch-up paints. Um, and then I asked them, what, um, what can I use to protect the surface? And uh, he said, just any, uh, any black, uh, shiny paint, glossy paint, um, and then just send him the bill. I said, well, you know what? I said, can I use Rust-Oleum? And he said, yeah, you can use Rust-Oleum. And I said, well, I happen to have some in my stash. So, um, if I could use it and it's fine, you know, it, there's no worries on that. I, I know how to paint. I know how to paint, <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I did install uh, the saddlebag on the white electric bike. I'm not sure if I installed it right. I think I'm going to have to go to YouTube and look at some videos on that. Um, but it seems to, uh, it appears to hold quite a bit of stuff because it expands bands so I, I'm excited to test that out um, today I want to show you the accessories that I bought because I'm all about when I I'm riding a bike or when I'm riding a scooter of course when you're driving you want to see what's behind you or you want to see if it's if it's okay for you to shift over so I bought these handlebars uh, made by Hafney and um, it, it talks about, you know, what you need to do. And these are, um, they have that special coating that you could see at night. See, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's almost like an HD view. So I'm going to be installing that. And it looks like it's fairly easy it's going on the left side and it comes with aluminum clamp which is a whole lot better than uh than plastic so we're going to be installing that put this to the side i bought two because we have two bikes and uh, let me just open the clamp because i haven't opened that yet and yeah yeah it's it's aluminum all is good with the world as a rubber insert so it doesn't scratch your handlebar. Okay. Um, sorry about the noise. There's a lot going on in the block today. Yeah. People are mowing lawns. So here's something that I wanted to talk about. One of my viewers um, made a comment. If you go to the my electric bike video and you look at the comments, you'll see the viewer that suggested that I, that, um, well, he didn't tell me. He said he was getting bike -a for his electric bike and his electric bike is on order. He hasn't received it yet. So I looked this up and you know what? It's, it's rated really high. It's, it looks like it's really comfortable. So let me go ahead and, and open it up and take a look. See. And it arrived fairly quickly because I ordered it the day before yesterday and I got it yesterday. So all is good with the world. Okay, so this cap is probably goes, maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe it fell off of another one. Maybe it goes here. I don't know. I'll put it there in the meantime. Um, wow. Okay, I got to cut this. But um, this is a nice little Ziploc baggie, whatever is in here, I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at this. Yeah, compared to what 
we have now, and let's look at this in comparison. So this is a seat that comes with electric bike, and this is a seat I ordered. Whoa, Neely, this is, I can't wait. You see that? I just can't wait. It looks so comfortable. <laughs> this heart. <laughs> this, I don't think it's going to hurt. And it's got these nice little springs in the back. These are pretty big. I'd say they're about, oh, close to three inches. And it's not just these. It's this right here. So... Okay, let me let me turn this off and I'm going to go get some scissors and cut this off and we're going to see what's in that little baggie. Okay, signing off for now. Okay, I'm back. So I've got my knife and we're going to cut this off. Now that's a that's a rubber. Yeah, it's not as stiff as the ones I'm used to. Okay. Put that on the floor for right now. Let's take a look. Looks like it's, uh, whoops. A lot going on over here. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay. How to mount, put this down so you can see it. Well, let me bring this up. There you go. How to mount your Bikeroo saddle. Thank you for your decision to buy a new saddle from Bikeroo. Um, bicycle saddles are designed for quick removal and replacement. Please use the following instructions for quick and easy assembly of your bike saddle. Oh, pictures. You know how I like pictures. <laughs> Needed tools, so you need a hex and that. And I wonder if that came with it. Let me take a look. Oh, guys. Guys, this is so cool. The tools that you need come with the saddle. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That is so cool. And what's this? <gasps> no way. Oh. I had no idea. I had no idea, but do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know what this is? I do. I do. <sighs> it's a bike seat cover, so if you get caught in the rain, if you get caught in the rain, you don't have to worry about sitting on a wet saddle. That is so cool. Folds right up like that, and you can put it back in the little nice reusable Ziploc tie. Doo -doo -doo. Done. See that? And you could put your toolkit in here, Biker Toolkit. I'm, this this company thinks of everything. I I have, honestly I had no idea. I mean, I am seeing this stuff for the first time just like you are. Okay, so. Let's see. Remove the old saddle with the seat post from your bike. It is as simple as adjusting the seat height. Oh, I can do that. Not a problem. So let's, whoops, that's my knife fell down. Let's do that. Let me get up. And let me go to my my seat, and it's as easy as just opening up this lever and up and out. Holy cow, if you're super tall, look at this, guys. This is crazy. Crazy long. Look at that. <laughs> it's, woo, I can't even get it in the picture. Okay. So, you know what? This, this is great that I have this. Let me lay it down on the ground so nothing happens to it. And I'll stand it up right there see all is good okay let me look at the instructions let me get down here and... okay so turn this around I did that for tube style 
seat post mount your bike saddle with the adjuster directly on the post okay well this one looks like it may be it's the same style see that see it has this so I imagine um, yeah it's just a matter of taking this tube off so I got to loosen this you could see it better so I got to loosen this so it comes out of this little hole and then I transfer this tube into that little hole and just tighten it hey cool is that so let me get my wrench let me get my knife I don't want to make a mess guys when you use your knife always away from you cut away from you in case it slips and then you end up cutting yourself right we don't want to do that oh this is nice I like this so which hole is it gonna be <laughs> oh, I found it right away <laughs> righty tighty lefty Lucy oh gosh okay well I may have to get it just a regular wrench let me try this side this way they really tiny oh I got it I got it is it turning we'll find out well something's happening maybe that's not it's slipping let's go back to this wow they really tighten this and I need leverage that's what I need I need leverage and it's not gonna happen this way because this thing is so thin it hurts my hand so I guess this is it's good if you're in a pinch but not um, to actually yeah I don't think it's turning it's slipping yeah okay so let me go get a wrench hold on one second okay <clears throat> I'm back got the wrench what is it 14 mil 14 mil okay so let's loosen this up okay I need to hold it so give me a second let's see this is when a second pair of hands come in handy i.e. Louie okay well it's turning so all is good with the world it's turning I'm sorry, it wasn't in, in the picture. Here we go. Oh, good, it's loosening. So I don't have to take this off. I just have to loosen it enough where the post comes loose. And we're going to do that. Okay, is it loose enough? Well, I feel it's loose enough. Bingo, it's out. So guess what, guys? Bingo, it's in. See that? <laughs> So let's tighten this up. All is good with the world. We'll do it this way and let's turn it around and do it the other way. Kind of do it even on both sides. What do you think? What do you think? And all is good with the world. Let's get with the world. Get it nice and tight. We don't want to be bouncing around and oops a daisy. Let's turn the other side. Here we go. Let's see. Do the other side. Hold this. I know I'm struggling a little bit. Hold it this way. There we go. There. Hey.
Okay, I think that's getting really tight. Out this way. Okay. As you can see right here, the tube is all the way down. It's tight. Okay, let's look at it. Yeah. Okay. Now if you, it looks to be like it's leaning this way, so if you want to um, adjust that, you just turn this and tilt it back because I think it's leaning too far forward, so I'm gonna do that now. Well, yeah, because it has these little ridges that you can do that, so guess what? We have to un undo it again, so that's okay. That's okay. Do that. Should have checked it before we tighten it. That's my fault. You know what? You live and learn. So guess what? You guys won't do this mistake. I did it for you. <laughs> so. Okay, get it in there. Come on, get in there. Okay. Oh, it wasn't that bad. It's, it's loosening up. So, get that going. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can. Okay. Loosen it up and get that going. Okay, I can do it with my hand. So let me stand it up. And that looks good right there. Uh, no, you can't see it. There we go. That looks good right there. It's straight up and down like that. Yeah. So let me just tighten. Hand tight so it doesn't move. Okay, so now let's tighten it. Oh, it moved a little bit. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Like that. Let me just tighten it so it doesn't move. This side. Yeah, tighten it on this side. Let me check it again. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna be moving anywhere. Okay, so let's look at our instructions again. Uh, for tube style post, mount your bike saddle with, okay. Uh, make sure you adjust the saddle. Hey, we did that. Tighten uh, the two lateral nuts. Yeah, 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 we did that. Okay. Uh, if your seat post has a little bent at the top, like the one in figure one. Okay. Well, it really doesn't, so we're going to, and that's, that's about it. Now we put it on the bike. Okay, let's do that. Let's put it on the bike. And here we go. Guys, this is, looks like it's aluminum. -num. Oh, let's get with the world. Oh, well, it's, it's. I think we may have to. No, I think it's it's going to be fine. Okay, so let me get the bike seat straight with the frame. Let me sit on it. Let me sit and check it out. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Oh, I'm in heaven. 
This feels good. <laughs> it does. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Yes, the re even the angle is good for me. Oh my gosh, what a difference. What a difference. Okay. <sighs> Let me go ahead and put the stand up or down. And give me a second here. There we go. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Let me, and it's lined up pretty much with the frame. Uh, maybe I need to straighten it out a little bit more. Let me see. How's that? Does that look good? Yeah, I think that looks good. There we go. Let me tighten it up. Okay, so that seat is done. So, Louis, mine, mine, Louis. Oh, yes. He's got his own bike seat. <laughs> so, don't worry about it, guys. He's going to be comfortable, too. Uh, okay. So, let's set this aside. And I'll put the old bike seat in the bag to protect it. Now, let's look at this. I'm going to put this on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, to take the clamp piece out of the white small box package. Uh, and you can open it and close it depending on your handlebar. So place the entire piece of spacer in, inside of the clamp. Oh, I see a misspelling. It says ensued. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, break the spacer in half. Insert the half spacer into the clamp. No spacer needed. Well, I'm going to put a spacer only because it protects it. But I guess it's if you have a wider handlebar, you know, you want to take out the spacer. So I'm going to need a seven millimeter. Let's see if, if the ones that came with this one is seven millimeter. Let me see. Is it written on here? Uh, maybe not, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's take this out. And that's too big. Uh, this one. Oh, bingo! <laughs> I don't have to go look for one. Okay. So, let's take this apart. Let's Let's see. Let's go work it out over here. And all is good with the world. So, I know I've, my garage is just packed full of stuff, guys. No, no haters, okay? No haters. Uh, I may have to move this bell and put the bell down here and just put my thing over here so let me just put it in here for right now let's see how that goes okay so it looks like uh, we can leave the spacers on it could protect it so it goes like this put that on there I do believe, I do believe, I do believe. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh. I think it goes on the outside because there's a little notch right here. See that? Of course, if I read the instructions, I would have that information. It goes like this. Okay, so. Oh, did I drop the, the insert? No, it's in my hand. Okay, so let's put this down. Let's put this up. So, I guess I want it to go this way. Maybe I want it to go this way. 
Okay, so let's put this in. And it has a notch in here for this little nipple. You see that? So get that in that little notch. I'm always good with the world. Come on, you. There we go. Oh. You know what? Let me take it off and put it in like that. And lines up like that. Okay. So it's supposed to line up. I will move it. Um, move the belt, but for right now, I just want to show you how it goes in here, how easy it is to put on. I will move the, the bell. Okay, so there it goes. And this one has like a little notch in there and it fits right in there and then you just tighten it with the the hex right in there okay uh, maybe I put it too far in and I can't do it without pulling it out there you go there it goes Gee, I hope this thing is focused so you could see it and probably have to adjust it a little bit there it goes it's in there Is it in there or not? I have to play with it. There it goes. Oh, come on. You could do it. You know you can. You know you can. There you go. Let me just back it out a little bit. And then put the mirror in. Come on. You could do it. Okay, here we go. There it goes. It's in. So I just have to tighten the mirror. Tighten the hex nut. But it's in there. I don't know if you could see it. Like that. Let me get the hex nut real quick. And tighten that. Woo! Whoa! Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, got my hex nut. So, let me... Oh, didn't tighten. Why didn't you tighten? Loosen this up again. And there is like a puzzle. This piece down here actually fits in this groove right here. So you get it in there like so. And it'll fit in there. And you'll know it'll fit. There, see? It fit. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use a hex nut for tighten, tightening and hold this in its groove until it screws all the way in. Oh, you can't see it because my hand is in the way, but it's working. It's working. It's working. Oh, maybe not. It's just a little bit maneuvering here. I'm determined. You know me. I am determined. Hmm. Let me take a look at this real quick. Let me take a look at this real quick. Hold on. 
Well, if all else fails, you see what where it goes? Right here in the front, of course. There was no threads where I was trying to do it. So this is where it needs to go. Good. Nothing. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I am not going to say it. Okay. So let me go ahead and take a look. Yep, that's going to work. So let me go ahead and tighten this. like so and handlebar fits just perfect oh and there's and i could still use my bell ding 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 yes i like my bell and you can adjust this and then tighten this so i'm going to get on the bike and i'm going to take a look how i want it and adjust it. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to tighten this so it doesn't move when I hit bumps and stuff. go and tighten this a little bit more okay okay that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, shall we take it for a test drive? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, signing off for now. Okay, um, for safety, I like to wear like a, a vest, you know, so people can see me. Not that they can miss me, but you know. So, ooh, it's going to cover my camera. <laughs> well, we're going to put it over. Oh, sorry. And we're just going to lay it over like this. It's okay. And uh, so I got my vest on. I'm going to put my safety equipment on. Oh, but first, I need to get my shoes on. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. So let me go ahead and put my safety equipment on, which is my helmet and my riding gloves. They're padded. They're gel. Um, let me get the name brand on here. Izumi? Pearl Izumis. They wash well because I've already washed them. So I'm going to put these on. And put my helmet down. I don't know. You guys think I like green? <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. And get my helmet on. Safety first. Okay. Get my garage door opener. And get the bike out. go. Close the garage. Put 
the garage door opener away. Oh, you hear that airplane? Yeah, I do too. Put the key in on the bottom. And the key will not come out. Once you turn it on, the key is locked. Okay, I'm going to have to lean over and get there we go. And turn it clockwise, a quarter turn. And that will turn, allow the bike to get turned on. Sitting on my new seat, all is good with the world. And my mirror is on. And let me see what you guys are seeing. Let me point you forward so you can see better. Yep, all is good. Okay, so let's go for a first ride with new seat. And let me go ahead and turn on the, the bike. There it goes. And let me just go to first speed. Woohoo! And pedal assist. There we go. Okay, well, I like this mirror. I could see. I can actually see. All is good with the world. What do you guys think? Huh? There we go. Okay, let me take it off pedal assist and just give it some gas. Hey, all right. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I could see. What do you think? All is good. Boy, this seat is comfortable. This seat makes the world of difference. Whoa. Bikeroo, thank you. <laughs> oh, and thank you to uh, my viewer my subscriber on YouTube who brought this to my attention. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Again, look at the comments on my electric bike video and you will see his comment and uh, give him a follow. Give him a follow, he, uh, he did really good, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Wow, this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. Wow, look at this. Nice. Nice. I can see. I may get one on the right too. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm going to move the bell so this the mirror could stick out a little bit more because I think I need for it to stick out a little bit more. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So what would you guys think? Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep riding because in the beginning, I don't feel the discomfort in the, in the saddle. But as I keep riding... Oh shucks, I have to keep riding. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Not so uh test out the seat. We go down this road right here. You know what? I need turn signals. far so good. Yeah. I got enough room for my, uh, my derriere's pressure points. <laughs> yes, sir, Reba. Here we go. Whee! Okay. I like it. 
this. I really like this. You know, let me get some exercise and do some pedal assist here, right? It's all good. It's all good. Wow, somebody's really uh, pruning their trees there. Look at that. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Nice. Okay, let me turn on the pedal, uh, the, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the throttle, okay. All right. Twist it. Get to the corner. Now, um, when I called, let me go out this way. When I called Electric Bike yesterday um, to let them know about the, uh, the damage. See, I saw that car in my mirror. Good deal. Um, I also asked them about the affiliate, if they had an affiliate program or if they were thinking about doing an affiliate program, because I'd be interested. I'd be wholeheartedly interested in uh, representing a good product. Um, I don't tell people about a product if I don't support it. Um, if I support it, then I'll let you know, because ultimately um, you're going to get angry with me because I told you it was a good product. Um, this is a good product. Um, it's, it's got a good entry level price point um, whereas there's other electric bike companies that can charge you um, 1500 on a I've seen them four thousand dollars it's just crazy uh, this company I got in um, I believe it was 899 right now they're selling it for 999 um, so if you're interested um, put your order in uh, they are selling these bikes off the shelf and so you may have to wait a couple of months for yours because they literally have no inventory. <laughs> they make them as you order them. Um, so, and like I said, it has a good price point, entry level price point. So, um, how does my, my bum feel? It feels good. It feels good. Um, I've been writing for about 10 minutes and usually that's when I begin to feel ouch you know but so far so good let me go one more time around and uh, so far so good I feel nothing I feel like my butt, oops, sorry, I said the word. <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying that word, but my bottom, it feels good. It feels really good. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me uh, to be up front and center. And uh, leave me a comment if any suggestions. Um, like I said, when uh, that one subscriber left me uh, that comment about the uh, bikeroo, I listened. I listened. So um, just let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay, everybody, I'm uh, heading home and turning into my street. And here we are. That's my sister or my daughter-in-law. Hey. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we're done. And like I said, my bottom feels good. 
Let me get off and you can see it one more time. There it is in all its wonderful, comfortable glory. Okay, everybody, signing off. Thank you for watching.